Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do 10 things you should know in Helldivers 2. Let's jump right into it. Go now. Number 1. If you find a cargo container buried in the ground, you can blow the doors open for loot and special weapons inside. Number 2. Every weapon has special adjustments that can be made to them like changing the rate of fire, scope ranges, or flashlight options. On PC, hold R, or on the controller, the reload button, for your weapon's options. Number 3. More compass info. A small tip, but can be very useful. To change, go to the options and down to the HUD, where it says compass small notches. Turn it on to visible for a finer heading. Number 4. Remember aim mode. This is very useful as you can go into first or third person. This option lets you save which mode you prefer per weapon. Great for switching between long range scope to close range weapon. Set it in the round once and it will remember though it seems to reset upon death. Number 5. This can be very helpful though it's not perfect. Turn on sample count visibility to visible from dynamic. This makes it a bit easier to find samples on the ground, especially after you may have dropped them. Number six, and this is a big one for me. You can not only change the button that opens the stratagem list, but you can designate if you need to press and hold, or to tap, or have a long press. You get it. I desperately changed this keybind to my mouse, but I prefer to keep hold while I use my keys to do the mini game. Number seven. I didn't get footage of this, but you can heal teammates if you were confused with how. Your teammate needs to have critical health, something below 50%. Their health should be flashing red, but honestly, you're never going to make it to them to save them anyway. They'll just dim themselves. There's not much of a medic role in this game, or the need for one right now. Number 8. Always check your map. As you roam around, when you near special items of interest, your Helldiver will let you know. But sometimes he doesn't so you should check your map always. If you're looking for diamond symbols or question marks. Number nine, be a teammate. Look for fellow Helldivers that might be carrying a recoilless rocket or manually reloading weapons. These weapons benefit from another player helping them. One will fire, the other will reload for them. You can run these weapons solo, but the reload time is significantly longer. Number 10, this goes without saying. Do not call down evac if you reach the beacon first and your team is way behind. This causes enemies to spawn between your team and the beacon, especially if they're already being chased. Don't be that guy. Well, that was 10 tips for Helldivers 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, comment, like, and I'll see you in the next one.